Hello everyone and welcome to this new edition of our video change log. We have so many news, let's check all of them. Stick with me because they are really exciting. The first one is that we are releasing a new home dashboard for Adespresso. Uh, it's rolling out progressively, you will see within the next couple of weeks. Uh, it's a big improvement and it goes toward the new multi-channel direction and giving Google and Facebook the same visibility for you. So, in the new dashboard, you will see a new graph that displays the latest stats for both Facebook and Google. If you want, you can disable either Facebook or Google in the graph. You can click on the big buttons to decide what should be in the graph and what not. And you can also click on the metric name to choose which metric you want, be this, you want to be displayed. And we will be adding new metrics to be available in this new graph. Uh, just below that, you'll see a summary of all your Google and Facebook ad account to immediately see how much you are spending on all of them. And below, this is even more exciting for me, you have a lot of new widgets to quickly access all the features of Adespresso. You will see the latest content from the university. You'll be able to quickly create a new Google Ads or Facebook campaign and even immediately pick if you want to start the new campaign from scratch or copy from an existing campaign. Uh, below that, you'll see your data sync to check your connection between Google, Facebook and your CRM. You'll be able to see all your onboarding and campaign approval requests and you'll be able to quickly access all your PDF reports. Really exciting. Please let us know what you think about this new dashboard. Just join our Facebook group at Espresso University if you are a customer and give us some feedback on how you, what do you think about it and how we can make it better. So the next big news, if you are an Adespresso customer, I think you already know about this, but let's do a quick recap. Collaboration Hub. Adespresso is becoming the best tool for agencies to manage your advertising, both on Facebook and Google, and interact with your customers. On the Collaboration Hub, we have two main pieces. The onboarding part, it's just amazing. We spoke with so many agencies and all of them were saying our biggest time waster is, is getting our customers to give us access to, uh, to their CRM advertising account. So we created the onboarding request part. From the collaboration app, just click initiate a new onboarding. You'll be able to insert some text uh, and decide what you want your users to connect like Facebook, CRM and so on and send them either a link or directly send them an email. Once your customer receives an email, they'll just need to click on the link they'll find inside. And from there, they will end up on a super simple user experience where they just have to insert their name, connect Facebook, select which pages, which other account they want to give you permission. And then if you selected that you also want permission over their CRM, uh, pick their CRM, give permission, and you'll find everything inside of Adespresso in just a few clicks. You'll be notified as soon as your customer give you all the permission. Uh, it's a huge time saver. We know how complex it is to explain your customer how to go on business manager, manage permission. With this new system, it's super simple and it doesn't just work with Adespresso, but will connect their other account to your business manager. So you will find, you will get all the permissions you need immediately with one simple step. Campaign approval, it's probably even more exciting. With campaign approval, when you end creating a new Facebook campaign, you can just say, I want to publish it immediately or I want to request approval. If you request approval, you'll just need to insert a quick text to send to your customer and again, send them an email or share with them the link directly. They will receive a link. When they click, they end up on a super simple dashboard. They will just have to insert their name and then they will see a recap of the campaign setup, how much you are spending, what ad set you have created, what creatives you have created, and at the end they can approve it and the campaign will be published immediately or they can reject it and leave a comment that you'll be able to see from the Adespresso interface. So much easier and a big time saver. With this system you immediately get approval and it's recorded. So no more customers complaining, hey, I didn't know that was the budget, I didn't agree on this creative or anything. Everything is tracked. And you can also send the link to multiple persons. So this feature is really exciting. We just made it even better with two new features. 
The first one is that during campaign approval, you can select what you want approval on. Sometimes you don't want to share the budget with your customers or you don't want to share your secret source for targeting or creative. During the campaign approval process, you can now decide if you want to get approval on everything or pick what do you want approval on, budget, targeting and creative. Uh, really awesome, there is more. Uh, the other feature that you can find in settings, uh, this is more not for agencies, but for a large enterprise. You can decide that as the main Adespresso account holder, you can decide that everyone needs to ask approval to someone else before the campaign goes live. This is a mandatory setting. Once you enable it, for example, everyone using Adespresso, when they create a campaign, the campaign will automatically require approval, for example, from your marketing manager, from the CMO of your company. So all the content that goes out is approved by legal marketing manager, whoever you want. Uh, and we have one more amazing feature for the onboarding, which is for both for the onboarding and the campaign approval, which is uh, white labeling. If you are an elite or above customer, you can now set up white labeling, which means that you can decide your logo, your company name and other settings and all the customer facing uh, dashboards, the one where they onboard their advertising account or the one they give you approval for campaigns will be white labeled with your own logo and there will be no mention of Adespresso. So it's much better, much nicer uh, user experience for your customers. It really makes you look cool that you have this amazing technology to handle them and to get, them, to get approval from them. So uh, really excited about the new collaboration hub. And now let's move on. Google, we have some big news since the last change log. In the last change log, I told you that we had Google Analytics. We now have full Google support for analytics, but also for campaign creation for search campaigns. So when creating a new campaign, you can now decide if it's a Facebook or Google campaigns. If it's a Google campaign, you have all the most common uh, options like split testing. You can decide where you want to display, on which networks, on which countries, languages. You can insert your keyword and then create your ads. And when creating your ads, you can even create multiple ad groups and use split testing to insert multiple titles, description, link, and all the nice features that you know at Espresso support for split testing. It's even more advanced than my Facebook split testing before because when we create all the combination for split testing, we'll show them to you and you can even delete some specific combination or uh, edit them. Uh, the last addition to Google campaign creation, if you already tried it out, but maybe not in the last few days, is that we release support for site link extension and call out extension. Uh, I strongly advise you to, um, to enable extensions because they can increase your click through rate up to 15%, but actually I've seen even better results. With site link extension on top of the main link, you can even you can enable additional links that will appear below the main ad. For example, you could send people to your pricing page, to the sign up page, to the uh, product tour page, whatever you want. It gives you more real estate. The ad will look bigger and usually there is a much better click through rate. So try out site link extension, call out extension are another great addition. You can basically add shout out to your ad like, hey, for this week only we have a 30% discount or hey, we offer free shipping and other text. You can insert more call out extension, more site link extension, and then Google will just test them automatically and pick the one uh, that are more useful. For both of them, we support both uh, account level site link extension and call out extension or you can create your own. You have an easy search box, just search for site link and call out extension that you have already created or click add a site link or add a call out and create a new one that will be used for this campaign only. So really excited. Google it has been our number one requested feature for such a long time and we already see that uh, most of our customers already connected their AdWords, Google Ads account and they are already using it. So I'm really excited and the roadmap for the next year for Google Ads is really exciting. A lot of new features. We really love Google and we are so excited to finally have Adespresso supporting both Google Ads and Facebook Ads. Uh, last two 
smaller addition to add espresso in this month uh, landing page view optimization so as you know you could already optimize your facebook campaign for website click but the problem with website click is that it only optimizes for people clicking on your ad if your website is low or uh, uh, i don't know it's not loading properly or maybe uh, the user is lazy i don't know and they just click close the browser facebook is still optimizing for it with landing page view objective you need to have the Facebook Pixel installed, which I really hope everyone already has installed. And once the, and you can tell Facebook, hey, I want to optimize for people to actually view my landing page, wait for it to load and see all of it. So uh, I would really advise you to start using landing page view optimization instead of website click. Uh, I would advise you to optimize for conversions, but if for some reason you cannot optimize for conversion, uh, landing page view is actually another great proxy. Finally, uh, big addition to the data sync. We really love our data sync tool, which lets you uh, synchronize custom audiences and lead ads on Facebook towards your favorite CRM. And of course, we also support LinkedIn audiences and Google audiences. Uh, the last addition, this has been requested a lot of time. A lot of you are managing multiple customers and so far the data sync only supported one connection so you could only connect one mailchimp account we now made the data sync multi-account so in settings you will find a dedicated page where you can manage all your crm connections and now you can add five ten different mailchimp account and when creating a new data sync flow you'll be able to pick hey i want this custom audience created from this specific account on mailchimp this list i want to write it to facebook google linkedin and so on uh, there were really hundreds of other additions this month. I just want to mention the last one, which I'm really excited about. And I'll let you discover all the others in our Facebook group, where we always publish every new release as soon as it's live. So the last one is custom audience for um, page engagement. If you go on the asset manager and you click create a new custom audience now you can also create custom audiences that are based on engagement of users with your facebook page so you can create audiences with people that liked your post that commented that interacted with your page if you have a great social media manager if you have an engaged facebook page this is a great addition and overall it's the first step toward full parity on custom audiences. So we are soon improving custom audiences from video creation and all the kind of custom audiences soon, they will all be in the asset manager and you'll be able to uh, create all of them. Uh, that's it for this month, but Q4 is really exciting. The roadmap is amazing. A lot of feature to get finally a lot of parity with Facebook support, everything that Facebook has released lately. Uh, a lot of bug fixing, a lot of exciting features are coming out. So stay tuned. If you are watching this on YouTube, please follow our channel, subscribe to our channel so you get notification. If you are a customer, you will receive anyway an email to notify you when a new video is released. But please check out our YouTube channel because we are releasing also the webinar recording, a lot of training material. So you love it. That's it for this month. Ciao, ciao.